Welcome back to Just Nigeria, the show for today's social media generation. I'm Ajake Hulotsi. Thanks for staying with us. Coming up in a moment. We check out the career coach, creating a platform for young people to gain skills that will help them compete with their peers globally. But before that, we'll take you to Kenya, where a teacher has written his name in gold. Since Peter Tabichi won the 2019 Global Teacher Prize, he has become a national hero in his home country, where he teaches sciences and mathematics. His ultimate goal is to teach girls to love science and see them make a difference in their communities. The first thing to do when teaching your children at home is to get organized. Get them to create a schedule so they can start and finish lessons at the same time on each day and help them to stick to it and make sure that you allow plenty of time for breaks and for fun. Children need freedom as well as boundaries so don't feel you have to be strict all the time. You can turn any space in your home into a classroom and you don't need a degree to teach your child important lessons. You can explain where their food comes from. You can teach them how to cook and help them learn good table manners. Asante san karibu. Show them how to plant and grow vegetables, flowers and plants and how to make a simple kumbos menu. And when you are outside, help them learn about different animals, parts and plants. Try to include your children in whatever you are doing. Get them to help with the laundry. And if you see, teach them how to repair torn clothes and replace missing patterns. Three, four, four five, six. Physical exercise is so important for children. They can use a rope for skipping or a tug of war. You can teach them how to ride a bike, among other things. Get out of the way! You can make a rain gauge to measure and record amount of rainfall. This pandemic presents us with an opportunity to explain what a virus is and how it spreads. Teach your children about good hygiene practice and how hand washing can protect them. And help them not to have so much fear. Give them hope and an encouragement. Tell them that this won't be forever. And explain to them that not everyone who gets the virus dies. One way to make your home more like a school is to do project work. You could make books or paper plates. Or you could sing together or do some drumming. At the end of each school day, take a moment to reflect, pray, or review the implementation of uh, previous targets, learning to keep a personal diary. And when night falls, go and look at the stars. Identify and name the stars when the sky is clear. And go to bed knowing that you have done your best as a parent.